Hey everyone, Hafri Shah from Pulse.org and I'm here in Cyberjaya for that, the announcement of the new national car project for Malaysians. It has just been announced by our MITI minister that Dream Edge, a local company, will take the lead in this new national car project. And so far, well, details have been a little bit on the light side. There's not even an actual name for the brand yet. So here's what we know so far. To start with, this is going to be an all-new model developed and designed by local Malaysian engineers. But also the company has mentioned that they have a technical partner, being Daihatsu Motors Company in Japan, which will likely provide certain assistance in terms of the powertrains and the vehicle architecture. So the local company will mostly be focused on the R&D of the upper body design, exterior, interior, the human machine interface as well as NVH and ride and handling. They were very very tight lipped in terms of details at the start but when pressed further they did say that this is likely going to be a C segment sedan likely using either advanced ICE that is internal combustion engines or perhaps maybe even hybrid technologies. The thing is, a C-segment sedan market is rather shrinking in the global market and even in Malaysia, there is, it's not really a big market, right? There are only the Honda Civic sells in huge numbers, but there's no one else really. Everybody seems to be moving towards crossovers and SUVs and whatnot. Also, the technical partner Daihatsu is known to make very small, compact cars. They make mostly K cars or the A segment or the B segment cars for the Japanese markets. They don't really have a proper C segment vehicles in Japan or even the technologies or the engines that would support those cars. In Japan, they sell rebadged Toyota cars as their own models for the C segment and D segment models. Going to timeline, today is the 9th of August and apparently there is going to be a proper working prototype in March of 2020. That is about six to seven months from now. Seems to be a little bit short in terms of time frame, but yeah, we'll see what would actually happen. From what we heard from the representatives today, it seems like nothing has been done just yet. They haven't really started the real work. So six, seven months to get a working prototype. Yeah, it's going to be interesting times ahead. But what's more important is that it's supposed to go on sale one full year later, March of 2021. So we don't really have to wait that long to see what's going to come out of this whole new project. In terms of manufacturing, Dreamage doesn't really have solid plans to create its own factories just yet, but it will likely use contract assembly that is using existing car factories from other brands to either manufacture or assemble their own cars. In terms of investments, meanwhile, no real data, no real number was put out but they did mention when pressed again that it's likely going to be in the hundreds of millions of ringgit. On that point, Miti Minister Eric Liking did point out straight away that this is a private project and it's all coming from private funds with no money coming from government or public funds. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. In terms of incentives and R&D grants and whatnot, there were no clear answers just yet. The minister just mentioned that the company can apply for it and then we'll see if they are eligible for those things. So that is pretty much all we know of this new national car project just yet. There's not even a real name to put up on the stands yet. But what we do know is a solid targeted launch date that is March of 2021. In any case, that is it from me from Paul Get all details on the website. Thank you for watching.